So the idea of the show um, goes back quite a long time, maybe about a decade, uh, when I was at the Museum of Modern Art and I had hoped to do it there, but it, time ran out and it wasn't possible. And when Larry Gagosian asked me if I would like to do some exhibitions here, this was first on my list. The exhibition comprises a visual essay on the subject of studio paintings. The, the themes really grew out of the study of the material, you know, which I think is always what you have to do with shows. And it was clear that certain things had to be represented because they were so important. There had to be artists and model pictures. There had to be paintings of, of, of materials as well. There are some paintings purely of the materials, a painting of a palette, a painting of paint. Diego Rivera painting, which looks like a fantasy picture, is actually um, a reasonably uh, true record of what actually studio looked like. Um, the um, strange creatures hanging are actually papier-mâché, uh, so-called Judas dolls. Hanging in the middle of it is a papier-mâché um, uh, dove, um, and um, Frida Kahlo, um, who had been with Ari's wife, had died the year of that pa the painting was made, and her nickname for Rivera used for her was Paloma. Um, so that this is really her presence hovering over the um, seductively posed uh, model who, um, who was an actress who um, Rivera had got to lay at the bottom of the picture, who looks actually a little stoned. Featured in the last section of the exhibition about pictures of pictures is a body of work by an artist named John O'Reilly who will turn 85 this year, who in the mid 80s uh, used black and white Polaroid pictures to make collages that where he would photograph other works of art out of books and, and also photograph himself and photograph his own studio and make collages that brought all of these together in a way that, that used the entire history of art as a kind of uh, toolbox for his own work. I mean, there were some cases of thinking, um, wouldn't it be wonderful to have something which had never been seen before or certain works in relationship which had never been seen before. And in the latter category come, the, come two Picassos uh, which were um, painted um, concurrently in 1927-1928 and um, they had never been seen together in this country. So in the MoMA picture, the earlier of the two, began the earlier of the two, which is more complex and more colourful. And in the second painting, which had begun it, with a typology close to that of the MoMA one, where Picasso eventually comes in and really takes out most of the imagery with white, um, like with the white of the studio wall. This pair of pictures is one of the lead-off elements of the exhibition. One of the great, in my opinion, one of the great pictures of this conceptual episode is Charles Ray's plank piece from 1973, where he's with a plank, he uses his own body in two different positions. This uh, conceptual uh, activity short-circuited right back to the ambience of the photographs of the mid-19th century of bodies being deployed inside the studio. So I, I would feel very, very happy if people came away from uh, my exhibition, and I feel Peter will feel the same, um, of coming out of these shows and seeing art which is very contemporary, an art which goes way back, and understand that they have a relationship to each other. Um, also, that people who mainly look at contemporary art will perhaps start to spend more time looking at earlier art, and vice versa. And if that happens, I think mean, it's just going to be great. <laughs>